What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the Living Free channel. My name is Tyler Freed and today I am running through Oklahoma right now. Uh, just got off of home time with the video that I'm making right now and I went home for Thanksgiving so this video will be posted about a week after Thanksgiving but if you're new to the channel um, walk over and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and actually stay tuned until the end of this video, I kind of wanted to just give you an update of where I'm at, what you're looking at, and uh, it's actually a very beautiful day today. Uh, it is only about 66 degrees, clear blue sky, not much wind at all, uh, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I got a load out of Dallas, and I am headed up to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I just came off of home time. Uh, making this video right now just came off of home time from my Thanksgiving break so I will be running from now until the week of Christmas so hopefully I can drop three four videos a week over the next two three or over the next three weeks and then after that I will be staying out until the end of January and so anyway let me get right into the topic right after I remind you once again. Um, my name is Tyler Freed. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate you for clicking on this video, and I would really appreciate it if you would stay until the end of this video, because if you watch the whole video, it actually helps push my content out there and grow my channel, and you know, so I'm really trying to grow this channel. I'm really trying to share my message, share my journey, and like I said, it would be really appreciated if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned until the end. Also, check out some of my other videos that will be recommended at the end of this one. So, let me get right into the topic. Uh, it'll be a quick video, don't worry. I'm not going to keep you here forever. But uh, I want to talk about being comfortable, being uncomfortable. And where did I learn this phrase? Where did I learn this idea? Well, I learned it whenever I played sports. When when I grew up, I was about, or from the time I was about 11 to about 21, I played ice hockey, right? And I played a pretty, you know, I, pr I played at a pretty serious level for most of that time. And I, w I had to end up quitting, honestly. I had to quit playing hockey and things like that because I did have to get hip surgery. So I wanted to play college hockey at least maybe go semi-pro or whatever, but I had a pretty bad hip injury, had to get surgery, so that did not end up working out. But uh, I did play at a pretty serious level. And one thing I learned whenever I was playing hockey was that if you want to be a good player, if you want to be a great player, you're going to have to go through a lot of pain to become great. And like I said, this video is about be learning to be comfortable when you're uncomfortable, learning how to endure that pain. And I truly believe that that applies to everything in life, right? Doing the hard work, doing something that you don't want to do in the short term, but leads to long-term gratification, long-term success is absolutely vital to long-term success. I mean, you have to give up in the short term to gain in the long term. You're gonna to have to make sacrifices. You're gonna to have to go through pain, right? And so I truly believe that why 99% of the population is average or below average, and there's only 1% of the population that succeeds, and that's in every category. That's in sports, that's in business, that's in politics, that's in, that's in every single field that you can think of just in society in general. The reason is people want instant gratification. People can't wait to enjoy something. They can't wait for that long-term sustained growth over time. They can't wait for that. They can't wait to go to the next level. So they just give up because the pain they would have to endure to get to where they're trying to go, it takes too long, 
right? So a good example of that would be like, you know, a lot of people would love to have a better career. They would love to. They would love to make more money. But the reason people never end up following through with something like that and changing their career and making something of themselves, making a better life for themselves, the reason people never end up doing that is because of the process that they would have to go through to reach that success. That's why. Like, a lot of people would become doctors if they could do it in two, three years. They would do it. But the fact that you have to go to school for like eight years, then do residency, and then you finally become a doctor after like 12 years, people don't want to do that. And that's why doctors make so much money, because the demand is so high for them. And that's why a lot of people don't go through that process, is because it takes tremendous discipline to become a doctor. It takes tremendous discipline to become a lawyer. It takes tremendous discipline to become a owner-operator in the trucking business and grow a fleet. It's just as much work, actually, to go that path than it is to become a lawyer, doctor, engineer. It's all the same thing. If you want to be successful, the point of this video is you're going to have to endure pain. You're going to have to put in the effort. You're going to have to do things that you don't want to do. Like, I don't necessarily enjoy reading all the time, but that is a habit that I have had to get myself into doing. Because if I do not read, if I do not study, if I do not learn, then I'm not going to make progress in life. If I just sit around and watch Netflix and consume garbage, how can I get ahead in life if I'm not educating myself? If I'm not putting in that effort, if I'm not doing the uncomfortable thing, which is read a book that teaches me something rather than watch a movie that takes no effort at all. It doesn't expand my mind. It doesn't expand my thinking. It doesn't do anything for me in the long term. A movie does something for me in the short term. A book does something for me in the long term. Because honestly, as human beings, there's no greater asset than our mind. What you know is the best asset you can actually attain. Like, it's better than a stock. It's better than real estate. It's better than a business. Because it's not the asset that makes, it's not the actual like asset class or thing that makes that thing an asset. It's what you know about that asset class. It's what you know. Knowledge is power not, and knowledge that's used is the ultimate power. But how do you attain knowledge? Well, you have to discipline yourself. You have to do what's uncomfortable. You have to be comfortable being uncomfortable in order to attain that knowledge because learning is hard work. It's hard to learn. I struggled with it growing up because I have what you what you call ADD or attention deficit disorder. Honestly, I don't even really believe in that now. I think I was just bored. I think I just didn't have a purpose, honestly, and that's why I wasn't focused in school. That's why I wasn't focused when it came to learning. However, if you have a purpose, if you have a reason for doing the hard work, then I believe a lot of people will do that. Honestly, like they will do the hard work. They do they will do what's uncomfortable if the goal that they've set, if that thing that they're trying to achieve is worth achieving, is worth giving up all this time and worth going through the pain. People will do it. People will definitely do it. So maybe Moral of the story, like how how do you prepare your mind to endure pain? How do you prepare your mind to make sacrifices? Well, first of all, I truly believe this, and this is all just my opinion. I truly believe that you have to have a a huge goal that you're trying to attain. Something that's honestly almost impossible to achieve. Right? Because if you set a goal that's easily attainable, it's not going to excite you. But if you set goals that are almost impossible to achieve, right? You, you aim for the stars, but you may only reach the moon type of thing. If you do that, then you will achieve more than you ever could have imagined, honestly. I really believe you have to have serious purpose in order to want to endure pain. 
What's your purpose? What what are you trying to accomplish? And like for me, that's multiple things I'm trying to accomplish. And I'm willing to go through the pain to achieve my dreams. I'm willing to go through that pain. I'm willing to make the sacrifices because I want freedom. That's just me personally. I want freedom. And I believe I have found the vehicle, the path to freedom for myself. Now, my path is going to be different from your path. That's just a fact. And your path is going to be different from my path, obviously. That's just a fact. Everybody's path is going to be different. Now, most people don't ever truly achieve success. And success really is achieving your dreams. What are your dreams? What's your purpose? Because success is relative anyway. Success is really an opinion. So success to me is different than success to you. But you are successful if you are on the path or to achieving the goals you've set. You you are a successful person. If you're happy with being average, then I, I guess you're successful because you're happy with that. Now, but this channel is really all about growth. This channel is really all about, you know, having the motivation to do the hard work, having the right mindset to succeed. That's what my channel is all about. And like I said, uh, before I got into the topic, you know, if, if you have stayed tuned till the end of this video, I really appreciate it, by the way. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will continue. But just understand something that if you're watching my channel, this channel is not for average. This channel is not for doing things that are comfortable, right? This channel is about doing what's uncomfortable to achieve long-term success. Also sharing my journey with you. And hopefully I can inspire people with this channel because that's my goal. I want to inspire people. Like I want people to be entertained, by my videos and also be inspired, also be moved to change their life. Like, there's nothing better than getting a comment on one of my videos saying that, hey, this was the motivation I need. This is what I needed to hear to decide to change my situation. Like, that comment, uh, I forget which video it was uh, that I made, but a guy wrote a comment saying, this is the change that I need. Like, I've been through all these different career paths and things like that, and just never really stuck with it, right? And your video is something that inspired me to make a change. And that is amazing, because honestly, like, don't worry, I I'm still staying on topic, because it's uncomfortable for me and I've already made a video about this. It's uncomfortable for me to make these videos. Like, this has been one of my biggest fears growing up throughout my life. Like, speaking to people, speaking to a large audience, speaking to people I don't know. I've always been kind of to myself, kind of quiet. And I have gotten over that recently, over, over the last couple of years. But, and honestly, like, this channel. It's taking a while to pick up and get views and things like that, and that's okay. However, you know, it does get frustrating after a while. It's like, okay, you know, I want one of them to kind of kind of blow up, but so that I can get more viewers and start growing faster. However, I'm being patient, and I'm just going to keep doing it. It's uncomfortable, you know, doing a video and it not getting that many views. That is uncomfortable because it's like, okay, did I waste my time? I don't know. But I know that, hey, if I just keep doing it, if I stick to it and I never give up, then eventually it will catch. Eventually I will find success. Because I have to remind myself that, hey, every big YouTuber that you see that's in your field, it took them a couple years to grow a channel. And they did it consistently for a few years. So I have to lower my expectations for the results that my channel gets. So I just got to keep doing it. It's uncomfortable. But I'm comfortable being uncomfortable now because I know that 
if I stick to whatever it is that I that I am doing for a long enough period of time and I stay focused and I constantly try to get better then I will have success at that that is a fact and, and you will have success at that whoever you are watching this video so if you set a goal to do something if you set a goal to achieve something and a lot of work is in the way of attaining that goal, which is uncomfortable to do. Like the work you're gonna have to do is gonna be very uncomfortable to do. But if that goal is big enough, if that dream is worth living, you'll do it. You'll do it. So, you know, think about that. If you're somebody listening to this video, have no idea who I am, but like what I'm saying, Maybe think about that. Don't be that person who goes their whole life regretting not following through with attaining that thing that you've always dreamed of. Don't be that person. Just because it's hard work standing in the way. Don't be that person. I've been that person throughout my life, honestly. And only over the last like two, three years have I actually gotten on a path and felt confident in my future. And that's because I have accepted that, hey, no matter what it is you want to do, no matter what it is you want to do, you're going to have to go through pain. You're going to have to make sacrifice to attain those goals, to live the dream to have to do that so you know just come to that realization honestly like it's going to be hard no matter what it is that you do doesn't matter if you become a truck driver doesn't matter what what it is people can find success in many different paths this is america this is the land of opportunity it still is no matter who's in power we still have a ton of economic opportunity even now with everything going on. So just understand that it's not going to be easy. Understand that the government's not going to hand it to you. Your boss isn't going to hand it to you. You, you are going to have to go out and earn it. And that's just the reality. Everybody has to face that reality. Most people do not accept that reality. However, this channel is not for most people. This channel is for people who are ambitious, who are like-minded, and want to do better. That's who this channel is for. And like I said, I appreciate you for staying tuned until the end of this video. And like I said, walk over, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the video, and watch these other videos that are going to be posted right at the end of this one and recommended to you. God bless. Thank you for watching. Peace out.